24 hours ish nearly for this to cure. This is the main joint on the whole thing. So it's kind of important. Although I'm gonna have like plywood and poor man's fiberglass and stuff so going this way and this way so I think the only way I can easily fix that is if I glue it back to the piece it was cut from because that's going to be a perfect fit I should be able to get a really strong bond and then I'll just have to recut it so that it goes that way and that way right let's see how this turned out this is the bit I cut wrong. Right, so this is the piece I just fixed. As you can see, I've added some material to one side. I've just cut off a whole bunch from the other side and now that will sit on this side and it's now tapered in the right direction because previously it was in the wrong direction so that fixes that and now I've just got to cut out I've got to cut small bits so over here so another two over there and another two over there and I've got to draw them properly and I haven't really done this very well because I've been using the foam as a template, which is a bit slapdash. So, that's the next job. So I've got to cut this and make those next pieces. Right, so I've got to transfer, let's get this in focus. I've got to transfer this cutting pattern, all these bits, and this block here. That's cut, that's cut, and it's laying on the floor. That's what I'm cutting next, so I've got to transfer it. I've kind of roughly transferred it with scratches onto the surface. I'm just not entirely sure how accurate it is, but I'll have a go. Once I've done that, I've got to cut those out. Although I might just hold off on that and glue everything up first. See how it looks. Uh, for the glue, I've been using this uh, Le Page or Le Page Premium, PL Premium glue dead cheap and you get tons of it so that's been pretty good and it's pretty, it seems pretty strong it takes 24 hours to cure though this is the front or the bow of the bow <laughs> I'm going to cut down these lines here I was going to do that initially I was going to cut down there and join them in a single line but I'm thinking I might I might overlap them like this alternately and cut across there I don't know if I can see that because I'm so I might cut across there sort of thing and stack them alternately to stagger the join so that actually that would uh, yeah that would go like that so it's going to come to like a, a point and I'll be cutting up yeah yeah so I think I'm going to stagger the join on the front one problem with this design is that all my joins are going to be in the same place um, which is probably not very structurally sound, but it's just the way that the cutting plan kind of allows it to go. So I think I'm going to be using some 2.7 mil uh, plywood in here on the in the board. It's going to go over that joint, and it's also going to go on the sides, uh, the gunnels. I'm going to cover those in some 2.7 mil whatever that is in inches, uh, plywood. 
So there's loads and loads of stuff left to do.